Referee Tony Myers is about to get this one underway. Five three-minute rounds if they need them in the Phoenix middleweight division for the middleweight world title. Artur Saladiak in the white. Yusuf Fugenham in the black. Final preparations underway here at the Indigo at the O2 in London, England. So a little bit of white crew going on here and then um, Saladiak will have to remove some items of clothing, although he's in the centre of the ring. So Saladiak not paying his respect. This is a world title bout and it is our main event after a shock result regarding Stephen Wakeling's comeback here tonight. But um, we're in for five three-minute rounds of real championship fighting. Uh, I have to say, Saladiak looks game on for it and really has come to this, well, with nothing to lose. Dave, what do we know about Saladiak? Yeah, he's uh, far less experienced, uh, a stable mate of Jake Purdy. Um, he's stepping up his game in, the, in this fight. This is going to be a big, big challenge for him. That, that's no surprise. Uh, but as we said, he's got nothing to lose by this. Um, I think it will be a great learning experience. I have to say that Bulganam will win this fight. Uh, but look what happened in the last one. Well, exactly. So we come to this with no preconceptions. Brad. Well, you know, on paper, Bougainham is just, you know, right up there. But so was Wakelin, really. Mind you, Sadibi was a, a different, different, different class level here. And I mean, I don't mean to be disrespectful to Saladiak, but hey, listen, he's got a puncher's chance. He deserves nothing but respect. He steps up hugely in competition at short notice to face an absolute demolition man facing him across the other side of the cage. The guy is an absolute legend in my eyes. And hey. He's got the opportunity to shock the Muay Thai world tonight. Well said, well said indeed. So, as I said, scheduled for five three-minute rounds. It's a championship bout. The Phoenix middleweight strap up for grab. Uh, just to remind you, Sensei Will Van is here. I'm joined by Brad Walton, and I'm joined by Dave Fenson. So we're going to be giving you the play-by-play -play moves. Whether this will go the distance, we'll have to wait and see, but... One of the scheduled five. Yeah, touch of gloves to get things underway. Solediak looking to make a positive start here. Fuganem takes the centre of the ring. Both men looking incredibly focused here in what is the first of potentially five three-minute rounds. And are we going to see that traditional feeling out period for the first three minutes? Slodiak going to go for broke early on. I think uh, this is playing out as I expected. Borganam slowly stalking his man, cutting off the ring. And uh, Saladiak has to move and try and be unorthodox. There's no point in trying to fight Borganam with the Thai style because he beats the Thais at their own game. So he's not going to win that way. He needs to throw something different into the mix here. Uh, so let's see what he's got. He looks coiled, ready to strike. This Bougainham, very calm, very collected. And again, uh, hundreds of fights on his record. He's, he's certainly no stranger to live combat. He's not going to see anything new here. Well, it's good work from Saladiak. I mean, he's evaded quite a lot of the uh, inbound from Bougainham. And uh, while he's just a little bit jumpy, he's slipping a lot of shots and a lot of potential finishers. Will he get caught? I don't know. Bougainham closing in now. Got him in the crosshairs. But so far, so good for Saladiak. Well, he's doing well so far, as you say, but the depth of experience raises the question. Can he keep doing well for the full five rounds? Will it be a rookie mistake that catches him out? Nice hold, counter punch. And uh, maybe the uh, ungainly style and approach to this is unsettling Bougenham. Maybe that's the uh, joker in the pack here. And he's doing very well, Saladiak. Takes his man down and tumbles over himself. And I wonder when the confidence starts to build here in Saladiak. If he can keep this up for the first round, he's going to be a very happy young man going into the second. 
Yeah, you can see uh, this is exactly what he does need to do. He needs to move around, but for me, Boganam is just stalking his prey here. And uh, nothing Saladiak is throwing is really doing any damage. Uh, a lot of it's not catching, and Boganam is hunting his man down. Absolutely, but by the same token, nothing Boganam's doing is catching Saladiak as well. I mean, he's nimble, he's on his toes, and he's got an escape route every time he gets into trouble. And there he comes with the hold and the hit. And Boogenham doesn't like it. I mean, it's going to unsettle him, but, you know, I think the writing's on the wall, but you've got to hand it to Saladiak. A couple of big shots at the end of the round there. Both men finding a home for their gloves after the opening three minutes. And hey, Boogenham's in the fight here. Yeah, he certainly is, and Saladiak is doing well here as we uh, look at the replay, see some of these shots. Boogenham coming in with the elbows very early, but Saladiak doing really well to circle out, move out, and not get caught. Yeah, catches the leg there, delivers a nice kick, and just shoves his man to the canvas. Nice elbow on the way in there. Well, I think what we're witnessing here is Saladiak doing a David Blaine. I mean, how he never got tagged by Boogenham, I will never know. And neither does this man, and that's the most important thing. Boogenham saying, hang on a second, go this wasn't now. in the script. We go to round two, go it could now, all change go. here. Well, that's the interesting thing for me here, Will. How is Boogenham going to react when he realises, yeah, oh, hang go, on, go, this guy's go, not go, just go, here go, to go, make go. up the numbers? Is he going to start getting reckless? Is he just going to put the hammer down on this kid? It's an intriguing proposition, and we're about to find yeah, out. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Cinderella has been mentioned once Hop. before this evening. Well, will it be mentioned again? We go to round two of a Schedule 5 in this championship bout. Nice inside leg kick there for Boogenham. Again, this sort of different style of uh, Saladiak is possibly what will save him at this time, but he's, he is making little fundamental mistakes here that are worrying me, like reaching down when, when uh, Borgen on low kicks. Uh, that's going to get your head taken off. Uh, it's kind of watch this space at the moment for me. I have to say, Bougainham's getting caught with that front teeth, you know, once or twice, you know, but three, four times is rude. And, 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 I, and I have to say that, you know, Bougainham's giving a little smile there, but he's not completely comfortable here because I think he's feeling a bit of power coming back from Saladiak. And although it's raw, it's unpredictable. And that's what's making this such an interesting bout. And I've got, to, I've got to tell you now, I'm with the underdog on this, and there we go, the elbow and the return elbow. I mean, he's got it all in his head. He just wants to bring it out here. And that is a face of a man that's terrified, Saladiak. And you know what they say about a man that's scared? Well you know, capable of anything. Absolutely. Hey, we all love a good underdog story here, and I'm sure the crowd are going to completely get behind this one. But we often talk about the late replacement fighter being a, a disadvantage because he's not had time to train for his opponent. Well, Bugenham's not had a chance to train for Saladiak specifically either, so... Oh, he lands a nice pair of straight punches there, though. Yeah, Bugenham now trying to close this down and trying to finish his man, but Saladiak's still there, and, I mean... The evasive skills are just incredible. And Saladiak takes his man down. <laughs> Bougainham's just as surprised as we are. This is a real wild card here tonight. And I have to say, I haven't enjoyed a bout like this for a long time. Yeah, Saladiak needs to do something different. If he came and tried to fight Muay Thai with the man who's been fighting in Thailand, then he wouldn't be as successful. But what he's doing is absolutely different to what Boganam is used to, and that, I think, is his saving grace at the moment. Yeah, he's making it choppy, making it messy. Certainly not finessing it here. And perhaps it has thrown Boganam off somewhat. I'm sure he'll be able to readjust. May take him a round or two. Nice combination there, working the body as well. Ah, oh, but a beautiful kick to take the balance out from underneath. Salodiak. Well, Saladiak has to move around the ring. He's got to keep out of danger. He can't let the crosshairs settle on him. So, you know, he's bound to be caught with the feet in the air. And Bouzhenev, Bouzhenev knows this. Uh, uh, you know, this is uh, one hand clapping, really, isn't it? I mean, we know where this is going to go, but it's very entertaining so far. And I mean, you know, I'm saying that, but we're at the end of round three. It's, I thought we were going to have an early bath here. Look, and even now, Bouzhenev cannot land the shots, even though he's got his man in the corner. Yeah, he's doing very well, but Bouzhenev is uh, 
using that old trait of the man can't stand, the man can't fight. And Saladiak is moving around a lot, so Boganam is capitalizing that, taking his legs out and stopping him from walking. As we look back at the action from that round, you can see that everything Saladiak's doing here is ended with him having to get the hell out of the dodge. And as we've said, Boganam taking that ability away from him. And as the fight wears on, he's going to take more and more shots, more and more combinations in those corners, and it's all going to start to add up. Well, you say as the fight wears on, he's at round three now, only another two to go. I mean, that's what he must be thinking. Boujanam must be thinking, well, three have gone and I've not been able to tag him. So, you know, listen, I don't know. I've got an underdog feeling about me here tonight, guys. You know, of course, I, I defer to your corner, corner, corner. extensive experience and knowledge, but um, somebody needs to tell that to Saladiak because he's looking at the king and he's got no clothes on. And uh, as in Saladiak's world, that's all that matters. And look, <laughs> he's shaping up. And I'm beginning to love this boy. Oh, we always root for the underdog, and it's difficult not to uh, get behind Saladiak here with his efforts tonight. He's not come here to make up the numbers. He's come here to have a good knock, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Big right hand there from Buganem, and he deposits his man on the canvas. Saladiak right back up, bounces there. Well, he's like the Kevlar kid, Saladiak, because he's back in, he gets caught there. This time he's hurt, this time he goes down. Referee looking, no, lets his man up, and I thought there was going to be a count there. Oh, another huge right hand in a series of knees. Saladiak attempted the throw, but a nice counter there from Buganem. And it's getting a little bit more difficult for Saladiak to get up off the canvas. Yeah, that's a good score in Muay Thai as well. If you go to throw your man and it gets reversed, the points go the other way. Well, he's still throwing, Saladiak, and he's still on his toes. And Bujanov just can't finish the job. And he's taking punishment now, Saladiak, but he's in there throwing up high kicks. This is incredible stuff here. I mean, I'm getting infused about this. I know for the purists watching this, they're looking through the cracks in their fingers, but this is real rough and tumble. And Bujanov did not have this on the cards. Leans in with an elbow strike, Bujanov chasing him round the ring. And Bujanov just doesn't know how to handle this guy. Yeah, just barreled into the mat there with a couple of big knees, and he's already on him in the corner. Nice combination. And the referee is going to break them here. That's a count yeah, for Zalodiak. Referee saw his legs go a little bit or his eyes go there. Something that we can quite see from here. Uh, referee will give him an eight count for the fighter's safety. Tony Miles, a very experienced referee. Yeah, and he was asking Arthur Solidiak there to get himself ready to go. Well, there's a right hand that's got in there, and that's it, it's the knockdown! Oh, what a brave effort, but Bujanam has done it. That right hand slipped in, and boom, boom, Solidiak hit the room. It had to end, and this is where it was. But it was fun while it lasted. Hey, that was great fun, you know. That's exactly the, the kind of fight you come out and you want to see, you want to be entertained. You've got a crazy underdog story. You've got a guy who might just be the next big thing. It was supposed to happen one way and it didn't. It was exciting. And let's take a look back at just how exciting it was. Power, precision and punishment from Bougainham here. Yeah, fantastic landing that right hand, following in with a big, strong knee to the body and a knee, another knee on the way down. Tony Myers there finishing the fight. Saladiak was not going to win at this point, uh, and there's no point in somebody taking punishment for nothing. Solid uh, victory there for Borganum. Yeah, good call by the referee, I think, at that stage to wave it off. It was only going to go one way. Yusuf Bougainham will see his hand raised in victory, and he will claim the Phoenix middleweight world title. Yeah, Bougainham wears the crown, but I have to say, I've got a lot of respect for the man that stood four and a half rounds against him. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 50 seconds of the third round, we have a winner and new 
Phoenix middleweight world champion by way of referee stoppage and TKO. Make some noise for Yusef Fuchanam. So we have a new champion. He takes the strap. Yusef Fuchanam. We knew it was always going to be this way, but as I said, it was fun while it lasted, Dave. It certainly was, and what a great experience for Arto Siladiak.